out of 10, the need for coffee is 9.5. <laughs> Hi, this is Jasmine of GoTime Studios, and I'm doing the five day no coffee challenge. Sad. <laughs> Coffee, coffee, coffee. Kahit saan ngang workplace, mapa office, production set, or even sa bahay, it's almost 100% sure na may maikita ka nagkakape. Pero paano kung biglang bawal ka na pala mag-coffee? So, I usually drink coffee morning. I don't go out or work if hindi pa ako nakapag-coffee. So, I think reflex na yun, katayo ko. I look for coffee, I make coffee. Parang kailangan ko na ng coffee today. Nung madaming coffee. Actually, yeah, I don't know kung paano ako magsusurvive for the next following days, lalo na I have work. No, ako, coffee lover talaga ako. I take my coffee black. I start my morning with coffee Preferably with yung French press. Tapos yung French press na yun, precisely at around 4 minutes na naka-press yun para it doesn't become too bitter. No coffee? <laughs> it's a routine. Like I drink coffee after breakfast and then I drink coffee after lunch. Kailangan ko siya eh. <laughs> no coffee challenge, guys? Hindi. Mm, <laughs> Hindi <laughs> talaga. We're gonna have our last cup of coffee. Sana naman wag naman naman lang do. <laughs> coffee. Okay. Oh my god. The last timpla of the cup. So this is it. Last coffee. Hindi na pala masaya yung paginom ng kape. I'm gonna miss it so much. <laughs> Filipinos love coffee. Gano'n natin kamalang kape? Tayo lang naman ang second largest consumer of coffee sa buong Asia. Halos lahat ng bahay dito may kape. And 80% of Filipino adults drink an average of 2.5 cups of coffee a day. Ikaw, nakakailang kape ka per day? So it's actually 12-12 na. My expectation, I would feel like yawning the whole day, but when I was doing my makeup, hindi naman ako masyado nag-yawn, hindi ako inaantok. So, we'll see how it goes. It's so hard na hindi mag-buy ng coffee while going to work. Because I know later on, there will be coffee. So, I just got home. My brain is not as good. I was sleepy during the afternoons, which is very rare. Around 8 after work, when I was driving home, I find myself yawning and sobra antok ko na. Yung para ready na ako matulog without even eating dinner. But all in all, okay naman yung first day I survived. Ayun nga lang, para aga na nag shut down ng brain functioning or what. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes tomorrow. Para sa Gen Zs and Millennials, parang in recent years lang sumikat yung coffee dahil sa pagdami ng coffee shops. Pero in reality, almost 300 years nang umiinom ng kape ang mga Pinoy. Yun nga lang, if dati mostly may edad lang yung mga nagkakape. Ngayon, even students and fresh graduates, mahilig na rin. Na-boost din lalo yung coffee culture with the rise of freelancing and remote work. Imbes kasi magstay sa bahay, coffee shop na may wifi, yung usual natin hinahanap, di ba? And if regular employee ka naman, maraming offices na rin ngayon yung may sariling coffee machine na sa pantry. Grabe. Sarap magkape kapag umuulan. Kahit hindi umaga, kahit hapon. Oh my gosh. This is the toughest day, I guess. Kasi feeling ko uulan the whole day, tapos malamig, tapos it's already 10 3 p.m. I just want to do Netflix. But surprisingly, my day went good. I wasn't sleepy. Productivity wise, I was actually in good energy. So I was working from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. Emails between breaks. Nakapagtaka lang how I managed to push through the day without coffee. But then again, I definitely miss the smell and the taste. We'll see how it goes tomorrow again for day three. 
yung data and research about the benefits and disadvantages of drinking coffee kasi ang dami halos ng types and varieties of coffee na meron tayo. Which is to say, sobrang dami. Depende na lang kung ano yung mag-google mo na result. Pero lumalabas din sa recent studies na nakadepende talaga sa individual yung effects ng kape. Oh, it really wakes me up, Pat. And I remember one time I drank coffee uh, mga 4 p.m. to write a paper for school. I was up till 2 a.m. staring lang at the ceiling but I was done with my paper at 8 p.m. <laughs> I have to finish something or I need to focus also. Then that's when I would really drink coffee. It's both nakakagising siya and yung act of drinking coffee, it's pleasurable <laughs> to me. Plus the taste. Yung act of drinking coffee, yung may iniinom ka mainit, habang nag-work. So, it's day three of the no coffee challenge and it's already 12.51. I wasn't expecting that this day is gonna be so hectic just last night the corona changes. So, I think I really need a cup of coffee later because after work, I'm going to take two hours to do another event and then I'm gonna go back and I guess that's it. We'll see what happens again. Grabe, parang kailangan ko na ng coffee. For companies, syempre, ang concern nila is if may effect yung coffee sa productivity and mood ng employees. May bagong study nga that found out that sa features ng isang office or workplace, third most important ang coffee, tea, and other refreshments. Yung top one and two, desk and chair. Day four, gabi na. I don't know what time is it. Nine? Nine something. Nantok nga ako today. Hindi enough yung sugar apparently. Very irritable kasi gusto ko na lang mag-coffee. I could do better if the coffee ako ng umaga kahit pagod ako yesterday because usually these are the times na mas kailangan ko mag-coffee. Yung madami akong ginagawa tapos puyat. Ay, I'm just glad it's gonna be all over soon and I can't wait for that to happen. Day 5 and the last day of the no coffee challenge. I'm just gonna get a lunch outside. Go to another shoot later at 1 p.m. Hindi ko alam kung okay pa ba yung pagfafunction ng brain ko today. It's just that without coffee, alam mo yan, you're less attentive and active with your reasoning and logic and everything. I feel last hurrah for today for the no coffee challenge. So, for a coffee drinker to stop drinking coffee for five days, ano kaya yung effect? <laughs> Ayun, hindi ko in-expect na tatama rin ako ng sobra in the mornings, tapos parang low bat na ako ng afternoon. Parang sabaw na, most of the times, like three, after three days, productive pero like limited lang yung nagagawa ako for the day. I ate sweets like brownies, cookies. Yeah, that's every lunch. Pag konyare, I have a break time. Kailangan ko lang na energy donuts. Wow, ganyan. Yeah, sobrang unhealthy. Siguro I can sleep easily at night, but kasi meron na din factor na I was tired the whole day. Deep sleep lang talaga. Like feeling ko kasi when I wake up, din ako na nakikinip. So, I didn't feel na parang pagod ako when I woke up. Nakasave naman ako. Sabihin natin out of the five days na kailangan ko ng coffee. Mga three times ako hindi bumili. 600 pesos I saved, but it's... <laughs> not worth it. Not worth it. <laughs> Biggest takeaway. Hmm. I'm never doing this again. <laughs> no unang at sabi coming into this para oh it's a good thing. There are mga people who find it great for them, but for me no. <laughs> we have a reward for you for going to this. <laughs> you know, your first coffee. Ayon yung makisama ayon yung plot twist sa dika. Tas na hulog. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> definitely not going back to this no coffee challenge. Now you know. Now I know. Oh, it's a little boy.